Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It is another virtual uh, Saturday morning yoga through North Dodge Athletic Club. Um, get everybody a minute to join in. It's a gorgeous day. Maybe uh, if you want to take this outside, be a good good day to do that. Looking out the window. Um, as we get settled, go ahead and um, find any props you like, a uh, some blocks, a uh, strap. Um, in place of a block, sometimes I have found that um, a little step stool is a good is a good option. One of these fold up ones, just something to um, lift up a little bit if you like. Um, of course, blocks and strap or some type of um, uh, maybe a scarf in case we do some uh, chest expansions or a belt or any non-stretchy sort of thing. <sighs> and uh, so to go ahead and um, got, a, got a couple couple on. Go ahead and get uh, settled, uh, have a seat and um, get comfortable. Have a seat, uh, maybe cross leg or, or sitting on um, in a hero's pose. Maybe on a pillow or a block. And once again, this is Yoga with North Dodge Athletic Club. My name is Erica. And my classes uh, usually start fairly slow and then we build up, build up into, into some heat. Um, and some strength, and um, and then we come back down uh, to the to the mat uh, for for to to wind back down. Um, so um, I try to try to throw in enough um, variety, but um, certainly if if um, you prefer to do anything else. One of, one of these, the beauty of uh, these classes at home is that you really um, can do anything you want along the way. I'm just here to guide you through some uh, postures and some sequences that I like to do that really open up my body. Um, but that may not be right for you and, and may not be right today. So uh, please, and, and this goes for any time you are in a class you should never feel obligated to do everything that, that the teacher is, is guiding. Um, uh, I know it's uh, counterintuitive. You would go to do their, their routine, but um, I know it's also intimidating. So remember that now and anytime, um, please adjust, adjust to your body and uh, might just be something today or, or anytime. But please uh, start start relaxing the breath, um, coming into your space. Seated, nice and tall spine. Had some reading my coffee today. Start deepening the breath. In and out through the nose. all the way down into the belly. Close the eyes. Roll the shoulders back, back and down. I'll start with just a little neck stretch here first. Just gently bring the bring the left ear to the left shoulder. Stretch on the right side. Maybe hold in, give it a little little weight with the with the left hand. 
And then exhale, roll the chin to the chest, pause. Release the back of the neck. And then we inhale, roll the right ear to the right shoulder. Maybe using the right hand for a little pressure on the top of the head. And then exhale, chin to chest. Drop and release the back of the neck. Lift up to center and pay attention to that breath again. Let's do a quick um, exercise, breathing exercise where we inhale for four counts, hold at the top of the breath for four counts and exhale for eight counts. So um, we'll do a few rounds of it. So, so we'll exhale all the air out to start and then inhale one, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and inhale for four, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Go ahead and continue at your pace. Just one more round. Inhale. Hold. And exhale for eight. Good. That should do it. That's a little intimidating to the first few times you do it um, and really probably shouldn't do it more than about four rounds, but uh, maybe you just take a moment to think about what may have just happened. Um, it's a pretty powerful breath. And you can come back to that any time of any day. Right? It's a, there, are, there are variations of that type of breath. But it, it is pretty powerful, I've found. So, uh, so okay, let's inhale and bring those arms out to the side. Stretch them way out and bring the palms up overhead. And exhale, float the arms down. Just one more time. Just starting to warm up the shoulders and connect some breath. And exhale. Beautiful. Little chest expansion here. Place the hands on the hips or interlace the fingers behind the hips, and just open the chest, opening the heart. Tall spine, gaze goes slightly up, and exhale, release. Good. Roll onto hands and knees, tabletop position. Coming into some cat-cow, start warming up the spine. So we find our Wrists directly below the hips, uh, excuse me, shoulders, and knees directly below the hips. Neutral spine, kind of flat back if, if you're okay with that term. And on the inhale, we, in, we tuck that, uh, send that belly down. Gaze goes up, hips go up. That's cow and cat. We roll around the spine up toward the sky, pressing the earth away with the hands and the knees. Drop the head. Inhale, cow. Drop the belly toward the earth. And exhale, cat. Around that spine. Press the earth away. Spread the, the uh, make space between those shoulder blades. Again, inhale the cow. And exhale, cat. And just start going with this rhythm, this breath at your pace. Your breath. Maybe dipping down as you transition, warming up the, the biceps and the triceps. Let's see, let's find a round, round, press away. Inhale and go. And 
after you finish your round, come back to your neutral spine. And we'll try to warm up the spine for some strength. We'll send the left arm straight ahead, bicep by the ear, and the right leg back, leading with the heel. The energy comes out of the flexed foot heel. You can't see my heel, but you know where it is. Inhale, reach long, and exhale, right, land down. And go the other side, reach the right arm forward, left, arm back, uh, left foot back. If you prefer not to use both um, arm and leg, that's just fine. And lay them down. And we'll go back to the, the first side. Left arm, and hold here. Inhale, stretch long. And on the exhale, tuck the knee toward the elbow under the torso, rounding the spine, dropping the head. And then inhale, reach long. And exhale, tuck and round. Again, inhale, reach long. Tuck and round. Inhale, reach long. And place the hand and knee down. Other side. Right arm long, left leg back. Inhale, reach long. And exhale, tuck around. Using the abs here, warming up the abs. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, tuck it around. Inhale, reach long. And let's see, is that what? Can't remember how many we did. Tuck it around. Inhale, reach long. And bring the hand and knee to the mat. Sit back in your child's pose. Hips come back to the, the heels. Arms reach long. Ah, you can open up the open up the knees to the sides of the mat if you like. And it kind of depends on which area you want to stretch. So if you want a little more hip, hip opening, the knees go out to the side. If you want to stretch that low back a little more, the knees stay in toward each other, right under the chest. Uh, stretch in the back. Stretch those fingers long in front. Breathe deep. When those knees are wide, you can really breathe deep. All, send that belly all the way down to the mat. Forehead is rested on the mat. And you're reaching those fingers long in front. Just walk them, walk them forward. Good. Do a little warm up sequence here. Bring the knees a little closer uh, together, more under under the uh, about hip width distance apart. And on an inhale, we'll come forward uh, to uh, kind of a plank on the knees, and the wrists are directly below the shoulders. And then an exhale, we'll tuck. Tuck the elbows in, bending the elbows, bringing the chest all the way down to the mat. And then we'll inhale and lift the chest. Hands are directly below the shoulders, but you're using the, the back muscles, not pressing up quite yet. For this is a baby cobra, feet are on the mat. And then exhale, press the hand, press, use, press through the hands. Bring the hips back to the heels for child's pose. Again, inhale forward, exhale lower down, inhale lift the chest, and exhale press back. I'm just starting to warm up in the movements. We'll do that once again. Warm up in the movements. Warming up the muscles, joints. Inhaling in and exhale, press back. Child's pose. Rest here in child's. Maybe uh, roll the forehead side to side, massage. Release the tension.
and we'll lift up to down dog. <clears throat> Lifting the hips up to the sky, making the inverted V shape with the body. First down dog of the day. Knees are probably going to be bent quite a bit. Walk the uh, <clears throat> bicycle out the, the feet a little bit. Those heels are we're trying to release the backs of the legs so the heels can go toward the mat, but they really may not touch, and that is just fine. <clears throat> the feet are hips width apart. The, the hands are about shoulder width apart, and we're making a long line all the way down from the hips to the fingertips. Very little bend in the wrist, trying to keep the, 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 the weight off of the wrist. It's an intense spine stretch, and this is a form of an inversion. Let's just nod that head yes and no. Releasing the neck. And then walk the hands up, to the feet up to the hands, <clears throat> and we're in a forward fold. Knees are bent quite a bit. <clears throat> hands can be on the floor, the shins, the mat, or maybe a, a block, or even this is where maybe this um, kind of step stool might come in. Uh, but you're just folding forward, draping the chest over the thighs, releasing the spine. Drop the head. And again, nod the head yes and no. Release this, releasing the neck. Keep breathing here. My feet are about hips width apart. Some people like their feet. Uh, did I? Yeah. Uh, some people like their feet together. Uh, but then let's lift uh, halfway, halfway, for flat back. Parallel spine is parallel to the mat. Halfway lift. Find the spot. Energy is going from the. The tip, the top of the head to the hips. Hands can be on the, the thighs, the shins, or your, your prop. And just find a long spine here. <clears throat> just starting to warm up that back a little bit more. And go into a little twist. Plant the left hand right, right down in front of the face and sweep the right arm up to the sky. And the left leg can bend quite a bit. Starting to open up this, this lower back and exhale down and other side. Plant the right hand, lift the left, the left arm up. Spinal twist. Good, come on down and roll up nice and slow. Shoulders roll up and back, shoulder blades come together, opening the chest, open the arms out to the side, palms forward, tall spine, rock back and forth on those feet, hmm. and plant them, send the weight out all through the foot. Let's move right into some sun salutations to warm up. Still drinking my coffee this morning. I like to do a, a variation of um, basically a, a sun bee, and I throw in some extra, uh, extra um, uh, warrior ones. But we didn't practice warrior one yet, so let's go back to do that. To reach the arms out to the side and up toward the sky and exhale dive forward we're in that forward fold How about an inhale to the halfway lift and then exhale plant the hands and step back to down dog again and we'll bring the right foot forward between the hands and we plant the, the, we turn the heel, the back heel down about 45 degrees, and we come up to warrior one. So we're sinking into that front leg, knee is directly above the ankle, 
engaging the glute of the back leg so that we can start opening up this uh, front um, hip flexor of the left leg, that back leg. The arms go up, we drop those shoulders away from the ears. And lifting out of the hips. Maybe not just shoving the spine forward, but really lifting tall. And by that, I mean, I see a lot of people doing this, and I do this a lot too. Like, I really want to stick my belly up front, but really lift up out of the hips. Find this, because we're going to come into this during our sun salutations. Let's bring the hands down and switch sides. Step back down dog, and then bring the left foot forward. Turn the back heel down about 45 degrees. Those toes go toward the front right uh, corner of the mat. Reach up, warrior one. Stretching, engaging that back glute. We're trying to sink down so the knee is, the front knee is about 90 degrees, but it doesn't matter. You can be nice and high. The hips are square to the front, remember? Ah, engage the glutes in the back. Ah, okay, and hands down. And step back up to your halfway lift. Bring that front back foot uh, front. Forward fold. And inhale, sweep up. And exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Okay, now we have that in, so now we're ready for our sun salutations. Come along with me. We're gonna inhale, sinking to chair pose, just like you're sitting in a chair. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, step back with the right foot. Drop the back heel, sweep up to warrior one. And exhale, bring the hands down, pause. Lift the back heel. Inhale, step back, step the right, the left foot back to plank. Exhale, lower down. You can come all the way down to the mat or halfway to chaturanga, tucking, tucking those elbows into the hip, uh, ribs. Inhale, the upward facing dog. Or if you came down to the mat, do uh, the baby cobra like we did earlier. Upward facing dog, our hand, our feet are on the top of the tops of the feet are on the mat. And we're lifting the shoulders, dropping the hips and lifting up to the shoulders. And then exhale, roll over the toes to downward facing dog. And bring the right foot forward between the hands. Drop the back heel. Sweep up warrior one, inhaling. And exhale, hands down, pause. Lift the back heel. Inhale, step that back foot forward, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms forward, sink the hips into chair. And exhale, straighten the legs, stand tall, samastitihi. Go on the other side, leading with the left. Inhale, sink to chair. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, step back with the left foot. Plant the heel. Sweep up, warrior one. Exhale, hands down, pause. Inhale, step the right foot back to plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga all the way. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, roll over the toes, down dog. Inhale, bring the right left foot forward. Just like more on the exhale. Inhale, sweep up to warrior one. And exhale, hands down, lift the back. Back foot, heel. Inhale, step up, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up, chair. And exhale, stand tall. I hope I went through that 
properly. <laughs> I have a little distraction going on here, so I apologize if I skip something there. We're going to do that on the other side, uh, both sides once again, maybe a little faster if you want. So we inhale, chair. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back right. Drop the heel. Sweep up, inhaling, warrior one. Exhale, hands down, pause. Inhale, step the left foot back, maybe holding it up, floating it. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, uh, exhale, sweep the right foot forward between the hands. Inhale, sweep up, warrior one. Exhale, hands down, pause. Inhale, step forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up, sink to chair. And exhale, stand tall. Left side leading, sink to chair. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back with the left foot. Drop the heel. Inhale, up to warrior one. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, sweep that right foot back, maybe keeping it lifted, floating. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga all the way. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, down dog. Bring the left foot forward. Exhale. Inhale, sweep up, warrior one. Exhale, hands down, pause. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up, sink to chair. And exhale, stand tall. Hands to heart center, Samas Titihi. Oh. Take a breath. Settle in. And drink here. Mm. Sweep the arms out to the side, up, overhead. And exhale, fold forward, dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, step back down, dog. Anytime we're in down dog, uh, you can also go into a uh, child's pose if that's a preferable resting point for you. Let's lift the right leg up to the sky, sweep it up, way up. Open up the hip so we lift the left, uh, the, excuse me, the right hip toward the sky, stacking the hip. And then we bend the knee, bend that top knee, send the hips, the heel toward the hips. Shoulders are square to the front. And then we square the hips, bring the right foot forward between the hands. And we drop the back heel to the warrior one stance. And, but we're coming into warrior two, so we'll sweep the arm, the left arm up, forward, up and back. Sweep up to warrior two. The back foot could be at that 45 degrees like we did in warrior one, or it could be a little more parallel to the back of the mat, whatever is more comfortable for you. Our hips are open to the left side this time though. Instead square to the front like in warrior one. Drop the shoulders down away from the ears. Find some strength here. Ah. Reach forward and sweep the front arm up overhead and toward the back. Maybe wrap that left hand around the back. Bring the hand to the to the front thigh. Reverse warrior. Sink in the front leg. And then we're coming into a side angle. Bring the right arm forward. Maybe resting the elbow on the on the thigh. Left arm is up overhead <clears throat> and sweeps right next to the, the head, the biceps right by that ear. Long line all the way down from the fingertips to the back heel. Sweep up warrior one, uh, two. Spanking in the leg, the front leg. 
and then come to <clears throat> come to warrior two arms, straightening the front leg, and this time though turning the, both uh, toes to the left. We're gonna come into a wide leg forward fold. So arms come out to the sides, and we hinge at the hips, diving down. Might want these props again, or just break come on all the way down, <clears throat> head toward the mat. And hang out here, release the neck, nodding the head yes and no. Maybe a gentle expand, uh, chest expansion here. Placing the hands on the hips or interlacing the fingers. Maybe stretching them up overhead. We'll do this on the other side if you want to have your, your strap handy. And then go, bring the hands down and hinge back up. Turn the toes to the front, warrior two. And curl the hands down in front, step back to down dog. Mm. Okay, stay here or rest in child or come with me on the vinyasa. Do this uh, to keep the heat going. So you inhale to plank, exhale chaturanga, inhale up dog, and exhale down dog. Go on the other side, left leg sweeps up. Send the left, left hip up, we're opening the hip here. Bend the left knee, dropping the foot toward the hips. Back leg is still trying to keep the, the heel toward the, the mat. Shoulders are square to the front. And then we square off the hips, bring the left foot forward. Plant the back, the back foot down and sweep up warrior two. Sink in here, find your, find your base, solid base. Oh, building the heat, it's okay. <laughs> and reach the front foot, hand forward and drape it up overhead toward the back. Back arm can reach around, come to the front thigh. Ah, sink in that front leg. And then come forward side angle. Left elbow toward the left knee, reach the, arm, the right arm up overhead and straight, straighten it out. Sweep up, reverse warrior. And then we're coming to straighten that front leg. Turn the toes toward the right. Reaching out. Here you might want that strap handy. If you want to incorporate this chest expansion. But we'll sweep the arms out to the sides and hinge at the hips, folding forward using your props or dropping down. Maybe add that chest expansion. So we hold the, you can hold your strap way out to the side and find a little, find your chest or shoulder, shoulder stretch here. Mm, sort of like the flossing the shoulders. Ah. or interlaced. Maybe nod the head yes and no, releasing that neck again. I don't know if you can tell, but that's uh, something that I always need to do. So <laughs> I do a lot of that. Yeah, I guide a lot of that. Let's sweep up, turn the hips, uh, the feet forward to warrior two, and cargo the hands down, step back to down dog. Stay here or flow up with me. Forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Mm. <clears throat> so sweep the right leg up. Open the hip. Mm. Square off the hip. Bring the right foot forward. Sweep up, warrior two. Uh, actually, left, let's transition into uh, high lunge here. So it's, 
lift the back heel, hips are square to the front, and I'll just come into high lunge rather than the warrior two. So the arms go up, shoulders by the ears, excuse me, biceps by the ears, drop the shoulders. Uh, we're gonna come dive into warrior three from here. So find your arms, warrior three would, uh, would slowly place the weight on the front leg and maybe dragging the foot, the foot down or lifting it. Warrior three, we're making a T-shape with the body. Hands can be at heart center or stretched out to the front, biceps by the ears. Hips are square to the mat. We're lifting out of the, the, the supporting leg. <sighs> Find something to look at on the, on the floor for balance. <sighs> and place the hands down in front, making a big triangle with the, with the feet, uh, with the hands and the foot, the supporting foot. I'm going to open up to a, uh, Ardha Chandrasana half moon. So you start lifting the left. Stay here, of course, <laughs> if you like. Or uh, start opening the left hip up to the sky. Lifting the left arm, maybe coming right by that hip. Sweep the left arm up to the sky. So our arms are stacked like 6 o'clock and 12 o'clock. That left leg, ooh, use that glute to really extend it and lift it up nice and parallel to the mat though. And maybe if you'd like to, if you're ready to bind this, you can bend that top knee and reach back and hold on to the ankle. Here your gaze is going to come down. <laughs> and release. And bring the hands to the mat and step back to the low lunge. Step the left foot back, low lunge. And a step the front leg back to down dog. Do that on the other side. Lift the left foot up to the sky. Open the hip. Square off the hip. Bring the left foot forward. We're going to lift a high lunge. Bring the upper body up. Back heel is lifted. You're on the ball of the foot. Find your lunge here. Bring in your balance. So we're diving into warrior three here. Slowly put the weight on the front leg. Lift the back leg wherever you'd like. If it's down here on the mat, that's just fine. We're trying to find some balance in this lifted uh, supporting leg. Hips are square to the mat. And find your arms. <laughs> maybe a prayer, maybe stretch to the front. Lifting out of the supporting hip. <sighs> okay. Bring the hands down. And we're opening up to uh, Ardha Chandrasana. So find your base first. This left hand can be quite a bit outside for a nice balance. You're gonna start opening, opening the right hip to the sky. Starting to lift up the right hand and reach it up to the sky. Engaging the glutes of the lifted back leg. Stacking the arms and the shoulders. And maybe binding. Bending the knee, holding on to the ankle. So you hold on to the inside of the ankle, the inner, like the inner arch side. <sighs> Ooh, you can be looking down at something if you're in the in the bound version. And then release. Bring the hands down and gently step that right leg back. Find yourself in the low lunge. And step back to down dog. 
Ah, stay here, flow. Forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Maybe adding a little extra pump there. Inhale, flip the toes. Warrior, uh, excuse me. Up dog. And exhale, down dog. Ah. Hang out here. A couple deep breaths. This might feel better or harder than, than we started with. Oh, let's sweep the right leg up to the sky. Bring that foot forward. Sweep up warrior two. Oh, find those open hips. And this time, we're going to come right in. We're going to dive right into Ardha Chandrasana from this. From warrior two. So just like we did before, just start focusing on something forward, lifting the back leg just a little bit or dragging it. Dive this front front arm, uh, the right arm forward and to the, to the right. And open up the chest. See this? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Maybe binding. Maybe lifting the right hand. Oh. Or just uh, explore, maybe lift the, lift the weight a little bit. Just a little on the fingertips. Okay, release. And gently come back to warrior two. Ah. And let's do this side. Bring, this, bring the toes to the side, to the left side here. And then actually turn them um, out a little bit, or the heels in about 45 degrees, coming into goddess pose. So we have our feet way out to the side, open, toes are open, angled to the corners of the mat. And we sink down, we start squatting here. And the arms come out to the side, bend at the elbows, cactus arms or goalpost arms. Sink down, bring the shoulder blades together, opening the chest. Oh, yeah. And as you, as you get comfortable here, maybe focus on bringing, like as if you're squeezing the mat together, or the floor together with the feet. So you're engaging these inner thighs a little bit more. And let's sweep up. And turn forward, sweep the hands down in front, step back down, dog. Ah. And we'll go right to the other side and lift the left leg up to the sky. Bring the left foot forward, sweep up warrior two. Whew. Get your balance and your base. And you know where we're going from here. We're going to start just diving right into Ardha Chandrasana. You can do it. I know it seems weird to start, but it's, it's, uh, it's okay to explore. Bring the left hand forward. And it can be quite a ways out to the side. The props are good here too. Opening the chest, stacking the, kind of stacking the uh, shoulders and the arms. Maybe binding, holding the inside of the left, uh, the right ankle. And again, maybe lifting the hand for a little balance. Focus. Slow down. Don't get nervous. Oh. Okay, release if you're bound, and gently step back, warrior two. Oh, Carve those hands down. Let's just stay here in one more moment. Walk the, the left foot out to the side for a lizard pose. So we walk the left foot out, we're in that low lunge. Arms can be up high. Maybe on the on a block, 
or your prop. Just opening the hip a little bit more. One more time here before we slow it down. Could, you could be also be way down here, of course, on your elbows. Back knee can be lifted or down on the mat. And come on up, send the left foot back. And we'll just go right in the other side, bring the right foot forward to the outside of the right hand. Lizard. Find your, find your sweet spot. Might be lifted nice and high. That back leg can be lifted or the knee down. I should say the knee, not the leg. <laughs> Uh, and it's down, you actually get more, it's, it's pretty, it's more intense. So if you lift it, it's a little less, maybe come all the way down on the inside of that front leg. Ooh, okay. And we'll step back to plank. We're going to hold here in plank. Do a little abdominal uh, strengthening and arm strengthening here. So if you'd like to do this on the knees, totally cool. Uh, but maybe a little challenge this morning. Just find yourself in plank. A few nice deep breaths. Again, maybe on the knees. Engaging the core, just focus on that core. And we'll shift the, the uh, heels to the right, bringing the, the weight into the right arm, lifting the left arm up. Side plank. Find your, your spot here. That left, the, the right knee could be down here. Make sure you're still pressing up with the obliques on the right side, the lower side. Or maybe lifting the the left leg up, the upper leg up. Mm, engaging those glutes too. Whew. Couple deep breaths, two more, come on. Mm. Okay, roll on. Ah, uh, plank. Let's just sit back in the child's pose, release the, the wrists here a moment. Mm. And come right back into your plank. We'll go right into the left, the other side. So we'll roll the heels toward the left. <clears throat> Maybe stack the feet. Weight is on the left arm. Reach the right arm up to the sky. If you're down on, on your on your knee, still press the, the, the obliques. Oh. Maybe lift that the upper, the top leg up. Keeping a nice plane on the body. Okay, a couple more breaths here. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right, come on down. Uh, let's have a seat. Sit back on the on the heels. Sweep the sweep the feet forward. Start here in a staff pose. And, gosh. Let's bring the, the feet together, soles of the feet touching, opening the knees out to the side for the butterfly baddha konasana pose. <clears throat> Making a diamond shape from the inner thighs and the backs of the calves here. Hmm, holding maybe onto the pinky toe side of the feet. Uh, oh, I have some more comments. I'll check in a moment. And press up the energy tall through the spine and then lean forward. Who else do I have? Oh, good. I've got Sarah. Hello, Elizabeth, sister. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Hmm. And drop that head, 
drop it, release the neck. Press the, the uh, knees open with the elbows. And sit back up, <clears throat> send the legs long. Bend the right knee, bring the heel toward the toward the inner thigh, cross it over if you like, over the extended leg. Maybe bend the left knee, bring the hips, the heel under the hips. And we're gonna twist into uh, Matsi and Grasama. I think that's what it is. A fish pose. So we bring the left arm front and over, giving the hug to that lifted knee. Bring the right arm behind. Spinal twist. Stretching this right hip. I get, I get a nice stretch there. Mm. Gaze goes behind. Use the back arm to press up, opening, opening up the spine and the chest. And then come forward. And actually keep the keep the knees uh, the the legs here. We're gonna do a counter twist, nice and gentle though. So then we bring the hands to the left, and we uh, lean forward. Lean forward here. Feel feel wherever. It's kind of intense after we did this the spinal twist going the opposite way. So be very gentle here. And just breathe and release the resistance. Lean into it. Come back to center. Send the feet out long. Reset. And bend the right, the left knee, foot in, cross it over the extended right leg if you like. Bend the right knee. Bring the heel under the hip. Sit tall first, find that tall extended spine, and then we hug <clears throat> that lifted knee into the chest. Twist to the left, left arm comes behind. Breathe into it. Hips are, both hips are, are still on the mat when we're doing this. And we open the chest. Chin is parallel to the mat. And then slowly come back around and we counter twist to the right. Bring both hands to the right. Palms or fingers on the mat. And slowly lean into this. Take some time. Make this mindful and think about it. about where the where the twist is coming from <clears throat> not yanking something out of your hips so a nice twisting and opening of the spine <clears throat> and then come back forward send the legs out long and roll on to our backs all the way down nice and slow we'll do a bridge pose here Bend the knees, bring the heels to, to the hips. Nice and close, real close. And lift up the hips, starting by making the long line all the way from the knees to the shoulders. Ah. <clears throat> the thighs are parallel. They're not set way out here, out to the side, but they're, they're, they're staying parallel. 
maybe tuck the shoulder blades together under the chest. Maybe interlace those fingertips right below the hips, way down by the heels. And maybe press open, press, uh, press forward, I should say. Helps open the chest. Using the thighs to press, press the body open and making this arch with the body, with the spine. <clears throat> And then lower down. And we'll end in our inversions. Find what you like. Legs up the wall. Or waterfall pose, maybe they call it too. I'm not sure. That's where just our legs are just straight up to the sky. Uh, soles of the feet are, are facing the, the sky. And you can find your, your strap. You can do this next to a wall or find your strap, maybe send a, a prop under the hips. If you do the strap, you can put them on the bottom of your feet. Hold here, it kind of helps release. You don't have to feel like you're holding your legs up so much. If you have another inversion in your practice, we end that do the shoulder stand as I've, as I've been talking about inversions are are beneficial physiologically as well as psychologically they can all sorts of uh, proposed benefits physiologically as far as um, Helping clear the lymph system and uh, re, um, kind of redirect the, the, the pressure of the, of the blood flow to the heart. <clears throat> but also we can see things in a different perspective. And I think that's really important right now for us all to, to um, think about. And slowly come on down, make your way <clears throat> down to the mat for a final rest. Oh, it'll be short. Send the legs long and the arms out to the sides. Open the palms up to the sky. Tuck the shoulder blades together under the chest. Let the energy that we created circulate through the body and surrender the body to the earth. Start to come back uh, into the space, breathing a little deeper, moving, moving around, stretching long, and then slowly roll into onto one side, curling up a little bit like a fetal position, and then find yourself. Uh, find your way to a seated position. <clears throat> seated forward. Again, either cross leg or hero's pose. <sighs> Just a moment here to reflect. Let's all take some deep breaths together. Just to remind us that we are actually together in this. So inhale deep. And exhale. 
One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Bring the hands to heart center. As we send gratitude to ourselves and the world and remind ourselves that we are connected. Our bodies, minds, and hearts are connected and we're all connected to each other. <clears throat> send this light out to the world today and every day. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. Thanks again, everyone. That's nice. Got some, um, oh good, Janet, we're grateful. <laughs> Everybody, let's your pose. All right, go show us, so show your, show your family some of these poses, she says, showing her grandkids, so that's great. Share this, share these moments with, with each other as much as we can, and, um, Keep an eye out for uh, resuming of um, activity at the club. Um, I, I honestly, I'm not sure, <laughs> don't want to misquote here, um, but uh, so um, I, I think it's slowly going to be ramping up soon and um, hopefully we'll see everyone in person. And, um, and uh, also don't forget to maybe go outside, it's gorgeous here. Uh, go inside and, and maybe do a little meditation after we've um, we've done all these yoga postures to open up the the energy uh, energy channels of our body. We can now maybe calm down a little bit for a little meditation. So I invite everyone to do that, and we'll see each other soon. <clears throat> Have a great weekend. <clears throat>